All right, welcome back to the A to Z challenge. We are now all the way up to D. D is for dialogue. Um, you know, you'll often hear this particular piece of advice go around that you should take your dialogue and read it out loud. Great advice. I highly recommend it. Always do this. Um, but take it one more step. Take it a little bit past that. And make sure it's the dialogue your characters would use. This is such a hard one for me all the time because I have a very particular way of talking. And when I get going, I assume everybody talks like that. I especially assume everybody likes the big words that I like. I am a big word fiend. Oh, I love big words. And, you know, uh, some people certainly do, but, you know, many people do not. So uh, that's definitely a thing that I have to be very careful of, is would my characters actually say those things? So not only do you need the actual meter and the pitch and the hopefully the the actual feel of real dialogue, also conveying, you know, actual information. Plus, they have to have a motivation, like they got to be trying to get something out of a scene, and you have to convey that through the dialogue as well. So what it comes down to, dialogue is really dense and very important because it's doing so much. And if you get it wrong, everybody knows it, and it feels wrong. It feels like, oh, here's the writer trying to give us information. Here's how we get our back information. Which is okay if the motive of one of your characters is to get information out of somebody, then maybe you can let some some information slip by in dialogue. Otherwise, no. No, if, if people's motives are to keep secrets, guess what they're going to do? They're going to keep secrets. They're not going to be like, well, as you know, Bob, the last time we had such an event was in the Great 64 Flood, when all of the factors converged to make this superpower no, they don't say stuff like that. They're like, ooh, I don't want to be involved in talking about that. That didn't go down well last time. And these young ones, I don't want them thinking they can do that again. So remember, characters have motives. And it should be reflected in their dialogue. Again, this is definitely one of those things where I'm like, I'm telling you. But really, I'm making a recording of this so that when I'm going through my edits, I can be like, oh, right. Ah, you need to do that for me. For me. All right, so dialogue. If you have questions, leave them in the comments.